His, his name, as you can see there, is Slip and Slide Genius. And he is a genius. A genius at Luigi. A genius of slipping. A genius of sliding. A genius of getting him with Luigi. Yeah. First band, Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, and the first game, Smashville. This is Grand Finals? Uh, yeah, no, this isn't Grands, this is Winners Finals. It's Winners. Should be Winners Finals, right? Uh, fixing that right now. Yep, we're getting it. And that first stock, he's shaking his head. He's not going to let that affect him. Dash Dance, going for that reverse there. All right, let's keep you up this movement. They both are. The problem is, though. Yeah. Uh, slip and slide's the one that's capitalizing off of it. Yeah. He went for a second fair there. Luigi just managed to squeak his own fair in before he could. If he could have gotten, uh, if he could have gotten him off stage, he could have gotten a nice edge guard situation. But right now. Yeah, Slip Inside is just playing the patient game, man. He's not afraid to stand back, throw some fireballs, but BB's not afraid to walk away. All right, and looks like uh, Slip Inside. Ooh, beautiful nice tech. Stuff. Looks like Slip Inside managed to get a uh, uh, misfire stored. Yeah. But BB takes a stock. All right, he's evening up the stock count. And they're both smiling. They're both having fun with it. But that up smash from Luigi's going to take out Ike. Ike's having no fun with that up smash. Oh! Oh, Ooh. very nice. Catches the miss sweet spot. With the down Doesn't tilt. hit him with the uh, with the uh, meteor hitbox though. It's a little bit closer to the hilt. All right, he's starting to feel himself. Yeah, he's definitely getting some better things going on here. Oh, double down smash. Ooh, an unfortunate SD. Oh. He's trying to wave land on stage, I believe. Slip and Slide is just so good at what he does, he just makes people SD. He just baits, he baits out the SD. The number one strat in any Smash game ever. And he stores that inside B as well. And he goes out for a fair and he finally gets it. And yeah, his movement is really good. It's just looking like, yep, as soon as Slip and Slide gets one of these hits, he's just killing himself. I'm actually surprised that wasn't a uh, back air out of that uh, down throw. I don't think he might have thought uh, Slip and Slide would have uh, DI'd a different way. And he gets the balloon tech. He gets pushed off the platform straight into neutral air, which gets the balloon. But he's off stage now. Very nice side B. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm not even sure what, the, what uh, Ike's move traded with, to be honest. It just I think it happened so quick. It all happened so fast. Oh, and can he get the up tilt? No. Nope. All right, but he does get a uh, very nice forward air. Or sorry, forward tilt. And he just gets slapped in the face, man. Hey, shake off those SDs. Shake off those SDs, people say. We've got some cheers for BB in the crowd. They like him. They love him. I mean, this is a this is a Springs tournament. We're all rooting for the Springs, Springs player. player. Except us, of course. We're neutral commentary. Yeah, right. Perfectly neutral. Go, BB. <laughs> Perfectly neutral, unlike this counter pick that BB's going to pick. What do you think he's going to do? That was a very nice set of bands there. Obviously, Warrior Land. Nobody takes Ike to Warrior Land except maybe Bowser. Oh, or Ganondorf. Ganondorf takes everyone to Warrior Land. Okay. So we got... How is BB going to adapt in this? Because he was doing some very good things in that game, but he just kept on getting comboed to death. Like, combo into edge guard situation or just into hard hit and death. Like right here, bam, 95% on him. He hasn't even touched the man. So that's the second time that his, uh, he's tried just approaching in the neutral with a, well, it wasn't yeah. perfectly neutral there, but he just tried approaching with a fair. Yeah. And he's getting punished for it because it's not safe. Yeah. He's just getting shield and then grabbed. Shield grabbed. Mm -hmm. One might even think that that's the name of an actual technique. Hmm. Down being neutral. 
Yeah, Silk and Slide is just staying very, very safe. Uh -huh. It just has him in all the right spots. And he knows that... I think he's... I think what he's doing is he's just... That's the third one. Uh, what he's doing is he's just predicting uh, oh, like what Eevee's nice. trying to go for, what approach options he's going for. And it's actually... Oh, Ooh, he nice. went for the spike. He wanted it. And anyway, it's just really working. So he knows that BB like wants to approach a certain way, and he's just going to cover that option. Yeah. But that down throw to down air is going to close off that stock, which makes it four stocks to two. They say a stock isn't the lead, but two stocks and some percentage that is tacking on it here, that's the lead, man. Double down B. And he pulls back instead of pressing forward. That surprises me. So something I'm kind of surprised about is that BB isn't going for more offstage edge guards. Yeah. It's just running out there with the fair. How effective do you believe that is? Because I know nothing about the Ike matchup. On this stage, uh, it's a little bit on the unsafe side. If this were Green Hill Zone, he could do it for days. Ah, uh, yes. See, but there he just waited for him to approach uh, the stage. <laughs> the Luigi got the slide. Yeah. The Luigi got the misfire. So. And it helped him right into that floor there. Oh, he goes for the hard read. I think he might have been going for a fall off there. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, an unfortunate missed tech. Oh. Okay. See, just sticks out his foot in the neutral. Or, I'm sorry, when he's getting comboed. Yeah, that neutral air from Luigi comes out on frame and something. I think it comes out on frame four. It's uh, it's as fast, if not faster, than Sheik's uh, forward air. Okay, so it should I be frame four or five. That. Yeah, something along those lines. And of course, we could be wrong, and stream might be yelling at us. Like, no, it's frame three, frame six. I don't know. Maybe it may be frame three. Not frame six, though. Yeah, no, it's definitely as fast, if not faster, than Sheik's fair. If I remember correctly. Okay, so BB's been throwing out all these moves. All these moves, I say. He's just not getting the chance to swing that sword. And there, he finally gets a fair that he's trying to convert off. Oh, of. but he gets a beautiful up smash. That up smash. Slip inside looks like he got hit with it personally. But he's laughing. This man is laughing. All right, and I like that. BB waited. Yep, he's, he's trying, starting to read him back. But that down air. So did, so did slip and slide. Slip and slide waited. And that neutral air is it gonna close it out? What? It traded? Oh. They're talking. They're joking. They're having a good time. This Luigi, I tell you. It's what? Just, is, what is a Luigi? Uh, what's what? What's a king to a Luigi? Who don't believe in anything? I'm trying to remember the next line. Was a. Well, uh, mob to king, king to god, god to an unbeliever, unbeliever to a Luigi, who waved ashes and F-tilt to you in the face. In the face, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. That's where things go on. This mysterious masked man in green. <laughs> yeah. He should wear a mask to one of these, Jarrah should. Mm -hmm. Mr. Slip and Slide. Just come in costume. Luigi on ice. Yeah. <laughs> like Phantom of Luigi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fountain of Dreams. <laughs> Interesting. So he's going to go for those variable platforms. He's going to go for that, like you said, smaller off the side. Um, trying to kill him at early percentage. Uh, him being BB killing slip and slide. Apologies. BB's just getting punished left and right for the aerials he's throwing out that uh, catch on uh, slip and slide shield. Ooh, nice, a nice bear there. Uh -huh. Fortunately, it's like Luigi's still making it back. See, this recovery. I think that that's one of the things that BB is struggling with. That was a very, very nice recovery. I didn't know what was going on there, and the slip inside didn't know either. So he fooled both of us, looks like. However, yeah, he's just staying safe and neutral. Throwing out a couple of things here, two peas in the biscuit, and then this man is ready for death. Oh, ooh. Oh, nice F-tilt, and we'll take it. It won't. See, so the fact that Slip and Slide can recover from anywhere, at any time, ever, forever, amen, uh -huh. it's just 
if BB can't close out the stock, what's going to happen? I mean, that's why I feel like BB should probably be going out for... Maybe he should be fishing for more uh, offstage uh, fares. That might be the answer. Maybe. I don't know what he'd get punished for, though. Like, in that situation, you know, yeah. slip and slide was just a little bit too high. It was safe for BB, though, because even if he had gotten hit, he was still high enough that, like, it wouldn't have dipped down and died for it. Ooh, and a down smash out. evens it out. Slip and slide is having some reactions. Look at the player cam, gentlemen. And ladies. It's getting more heated. You can see the look on BB's face. Yep. He's getting into it. He knows that even if he loses here, he can win in losers finals and come back for the run back in grand. So he's trying to Ooh. download this man right now. That was almost another stop. And that was another stop. All right. Ooh, and he finally goes for... Oh, oh but he misses fair. the wall jump. He might have been able to make it back if he just went straight for the uh, uppy. I think he may have been going for that. Oh. All right. And a F smash to clutch it out. You know it'd be really hype if Will won this. Not just that, if uh, BB did something in particular. So if he anticipates that uh, Slip and Slide is going to recover from below the ledge again, oh, that's unfortunate. I was about to say if he recovers from the, uh, below the ledge again, if he just drops off, uh, you know, does his quick draw into the stage and then wall jumps to Ferris him. That would be amazing.